Welcome everyone to a new FIFA 22 tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the national team of Italy. In my opinion, of course, at this moment, and I say at this moment because the national teams can change every time when they are playing an in real life match because the squads of the international teams are uh, changing every time every uh, every match that they are playing so it can be that if you are looking to this video one or maybe two months later that the squad is different but for me at this moment this is the best way to play with them in online seasons i'm going to show you the best formation lineup tactics and instructions but before i begin i really wanted to ask you to drop a like for me it will rank my videos higher in youtube and help my channel to grow so small favor i'm asking i'm trying to help you guys with these videos so please Please help me a bit and smash that like button. If you're new to my channel and want to make sure you find your way back really easy, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you get a message when I'm uploading a new video. I'm doing lots of tactic videos, tutorial videos, so if you're interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. So you saw the goals that I scored in a match in online seasons against Paris Saint-Germain. Maybe the best team uh, at this moment, especially when you are looking at the attack, of course. And as far as I remember, they didn't even create a good chance, a scoring possibility. So the defense of this team is really good with the tactics that I'm using with the instructions. So uh, if you want to try it out yourself, feel free to do that, of course. And let me know in the comments what you think of it. So after this tactics, I'm also going to show you the match that I was playing. Uh, the, uh, you saw only the goals at the beginning. I'm going to show you the full match that I was playing. Well, it's not a full match because my uh, uh, opponent rage quitted in the first half. So that was a pretty good result for us. But I think he was really helpless because he didn't uh, create any chances at all so um, well let's start with the formation it's the 4-3-3 holding formation the lineup Donnarumma is the goalkeeper Di Lorenzo the right defender Bonucci and Chiellini are the center backs uh, just keep in mind that they are not really fast I normally I play with fast the center backs but there is not a really good alternative in the squad at the moment Bastoni there is but he is not fast uh, we have Acerbi uh, he's not fast there. Toloi also not fast there. So Bonucci and Chiellini are the best options. And yeah, if you keep in mind that they are not really fast, um, then there is not that big of a problem. Well, maybe if you have a really good opponent with fast attackers, but I played around five matches with this and I didn't have a big problem at all. So good enough for me. Uh, Emerson is the left defender. Then I played Pellegrini as a central defensive midfielder and i do that because of his pace he has 78 pace so what is pretty good for a central defensive midfielder uh, the medium medium work rates are not that good uh, it would be better if he had a high defensive work rate like ferrati has but ferrati is not that fast so what i'm doing most of the times is defending with my central defensive midfielder with this guy and because he is really fast you can just run after the ball you can see that in the in the game that i was playing uh, at the end of this video uh, i don't have any commentary at it so maybe it's a bit boring to watch but if you want to see how i did that just uh, look at this and nine out of ten times when he is in the center of the field attacking i try to defend with Pellegrini because he is fast just run after the ball so your defense will stay lined up and there are no really big gaps in your defense so it's really hard for your opponent to create chances if you do that all right then we're going to the other midfielders Barella central midfielder same for Verratti Verratti is playing more like a playmaker Barella more as an attacking midfielder uh, but I'm going to show you that later in the instructions uh, the right winger Chiesa Immobile, the striker, and Insigne is the left winger. Then the tactics, defensive style balanced with a width of 35, so really small, so it's really hard for your opponent to pass the ball around because the, 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 the space between the players is so small and it's really crowdy so it's really hard to find a good passing opportunity uh, the depth is 50 that's good enough uh, build a play on offense is balanced chance creation is direct passing uh, the width is 50 plays in the box four bars corners of free kicks both two bars 
Uh, then we're going to the instructions, uh, goalkeeper default, of course. Uh, Di Lorenzo stay back while attacking. Uh, Bonucci and Chiellini are just default and Emerson stay back while attacking. Then we have Pellegrini, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center. Uh, then Barella is playing as the most attacking midfielder. So get forward, get into the box for the cross and cover center. Uh, then we have, uh, uh, yes, there he is, Ferrati, balanced attack. Stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. Uh, then the right winger, Chiesa, only thing I changed for him is get in behind and get into the box for the cross. Immobile, the only thing I changed for him is stay central. And then we have Insigne, get in behind and get into the box for the cross. All right, this is it. This is how I like to play with the national team of Italy. Try it out yourself and hopefully you can win matches with this because that's why I'm making these videos, trying to help you guys win matches. All right, after this, as I already said, you can see the full match that I was playing and hopefully, uh, yeah, you can enjoy it and learn something from this. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.